Greetings. How do you know if it's time to write a new strategy? Here, I open up different situations that we have encountered in our careers. One can say the need for a new strategy appears from three situations. The first one is easy to recognize. It's a situation of urgency where something must be done. The second situation can be called more focus. More focus is needed so that growth can occur. And the third situation is bad implementation. When this happens, the company won't take off. Let's start with the first situation, urgency. There's clear urgency or a need to stop and do something different. It can be about hiring a new CEO, a merger, a change in ownership, or a fascinating new strategy that needs to be presented to investors to increase devaluation. The market situation can change essentially and the competitive advantage weakens, or a dissatisfaction exists about the market share. Also, regulations can change. It can also be about the financial situation and something must be done. This is a turnaround case, or then there is money in the bank for new investments. A very usual situation is that the yearly clock wakes up the organization and prompts people to think about the strategy. The second situation is about the lack of focus. A better competitive advantage is needed. Growth and results don't appear as they should, sprawling. People notice that the company is trying to do too many things. The situation can be such that the organization is too similar to the competition. The differentiation is weak, and that's why the clients don't choose the company's offer. In that case, everything circles back to price. We have also encountered a situation where a company has better quality than the competitors, but competitors overtake in growth. Also, a new business opportunity can suddenly open up, forcing the company to rethink its focus. A situation can also appear that the atmosphere lacks steam and more excitement is needed. Work has become a slog and a deeper meaning is unclear. Bureaucracy can also slow the renewal and a bigger change is required. Often, the situation is such that the business culture is not encouraging, more like accusing. The company must do something big. The third common situation is that strategy implementation has lost steam. A gap exists between the strategy and concrete work. It means that the strategy is only a power prototype. The strategy needs to be assessed. Is the problem with the strategy or with the leadership? The renewal can also be too slow. Sales are not in shape, digitalization is lacking, the processes have too many faults, and the courage to try new things might be lacking. A severe thing is a lack of customer orientation. Work is done from the inside out, not by removing customers' concerns. Customer orientation does not exist in the culture. One explanation is that people don't listen to the customers the right way or people don't dare to offer the newest thing to the customer because the client is asking for the previous thing, or the full customer experience does not use enough digital opportunities. All of us have the same challenge. It is too easy to be bound to the obsolete, which may have been a winning recipe back in the day, but which no longer works. The situation has changed. It's time to think about the strategy again and rise to the next level upgrade the strategy, but what is the path forward and how to prepare for the incoming work? Pre-planning the strategy process is a critical phase, yet frequently some CEOs complete it in 30 seconds. The decision includes when the process begins, who will be involved, and how many meetings will be booked. A great mistake can happen within this short time. It's possible to forget to think about what could be different this time around. The preparation phase has many questions. How to find something new and precious? Fear about not finding anything new like uh, during the last process can affect decisions. A typical way people attempt to escape this fear is to update the old template somewhat. How about putting the old templates to the side and starting from a clean table? Think about the strategy process without preconceptions. What is an effective and fresh way to think? Was the outcome of the previous process valuable? Did everyone anyway return to doing things the same way at the end of the process? Did we turn? How to involve people optimally and create a sufficiently agile process? How can we jump away from the hamster wheel? 
how can the setup of the strategy update ensure that gloves don't fall flat and get buried in the old way of working? Don't do things the old way with a top-down perspective. The old way would be for top management to define the strategy and then hold a staff briefing. People are invited afterward to discuss the strategy for them to understand better, but it is more like a theatrical formality about the material without any real chance to influence the outcome. Feedback falls on deaf ears. No, take a new way. Start by preparing a process that gets as many people involved as possible. Broad staff participation allows you to create excitement and ensures the immediate start of the implementation. It's not necessary anymore to sell the strategy as people have taken part in its creation from the start. Also, management can give more than enough contribution and steering during broad staff involvement. Genuine involvement succeeds with the hamburger model. The board gives the framework to top management and staff. The discussion iterates as all parties participate widely. We can say that the short time spent on pre-planning has a huge role in how well the strategy succeeds. Prepare with care and involve people. The simpler your strategy work output is, the more straightforward strategy implementation becomes. People remember the strategy and can apply it in practice. That's why you should summarize your strategic plan into a one-page strategy, the strategy one-pager. It will force you to simplify your thinking and what remains are only the most central points. All unnecessary words are left out. On the one-pager, you crystallize your purpose, which is a combination of mission and vision. It's the sun that shines and excites you on your journey from today to the future. The board gives the sector inside which the organization works. The company makes an agile strategy journey, each day sensing and responding to what happens on the market, the customers, and the direction of the wind. Focus areas are agreed upon, and the company sets concrete targets for the breakthrough goals. Lastly, the strategy is compressed into two words. This is how the strategy can be easily remembered. And so, these are the steps into creating a strategy one-pager, a new strategy together with the whole gang. Digitalization makes it possible to involve even a large group of people cost-effectively. This path brings far more cost savings than the money you will be burning by attempting to implement a strategy that's only been prepared at the top of a corporate pyramid. The one-pager's benefit come from forcing the company to simplify complex things and prioritize activities. Thinking about the strategic choices together leads to commitment. Is it time to create a new strategy? Was the question. Well, when the situation is on, this is the path to igniting strategy. We can help you through this process. Please be in touch. Take care.